today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Air 2S by DJI with the older Mavic Air 2 head to head in a real world situation to see how the footage actually compares to each other when you're not just looking at the spec sheet. On this channel, I love testing gear in actual real world scenarios and not just going on DJI's website and looking at the specs of things. So today, by the end of the video, you're gonna know if it's actually worth the extra money to invest in the Air 2 over the Mavic Air 2. What I've noticed so far is that ND16 on the Mavic Air 2 is definitely not treated equally as ND16 on the Air 2 because the sensor is twice the size. So I had to compensate on the shutter speed a little bit to try and get the exposure as equal as possible. From a flying perspective, like a control perspective, these two drones fly, I mean, completely identical. They feel exactly the same. It's just the camera that makes the biggest difference and then of course some of the new flight settings. All right, so I just reviewed and played with this footage a little bit, did a little bit of color correcting, finally got to look at it on my computer. But before we get into that and what my thoughts are, I wanna know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that the Mavic Air 2 looks better or do you think the S2 looks better? Do you think the S2 looks better? Do you think it's worth spending the extra money to upgrade for it? Who do you think each drone is for? Are you gonna be upgrading to the S2 if you already have the Mavic Air 2? Let me know down below. Kirkland cold brew, like a dollar a can at Costco. Cannot go wrong, this is great for the office, so good. As far as what I think of these two drones and how the footage compares, it kind of depends on the situation. In broad daylight, these drones are pretty dang comparable. I think at the end of the day, the footage looks pretty similar. In terms of colors, for me at least, I think the winner's obvious. It's the Air 2S because of that 10-bit color, we have more flexibility to color grade in post. But that being said, after doing these tests and reviewing the footage, the 2S had sort of a magenta and sometimes green hue to it that I kind of had to counteract, which the Mavic Air 2 didn't have. So I'm gonna have to look a little bit more into that. I'm not sure what's going on there, if it's user error or if the sensor just has a little bit of a tint to it. Now, after reviewing the footage, I was also kind of surprised, very surprised actually, that the Mavic Air 2 seemed sharper in broad daylight. I don't know if it's just my eyes or what, let me know what you saw or what you think down in the comments. 
but I kind of think the Mavic Air 2's footage was sharper, which would make sense because the sensor is half the size, therefore having a higher pixel density. In this video, in my tests, I thought the S2 footage looked a little bit soft to be completely honest, but the colors look amazing, so at the end of the day, I still think the Air 2S footage looks nicer overall. In terms of low light, the winner for me is super obvious. It's the Air 2. Yo, really quick, I'm editing and I keep it up. I keep saying the Air 2 and not the Air 2S. It's confusing. I've done it like five times in this video. I'm really sorry. All right, back to the video. The sensor on the Mavic Air 2 is so noisy. Even during the day in the shadows, you will find some grain, but the Air 2S completely got rid of that. The footage is really clean when it comes to having nice shadows and clean, not noisy footage. And then of course, when you go into the night, into sunset, you can just shoot way later, capture way more detail. So at the end of the day, should you ditch your Mavic Air 2, go sell it, go throw it in the trash can and buy the new Air 2S? Yes and no. Let's start with why no. I think for a lot of filmmakers, especially a lot of newer filmmakers, you're not gonna notice a huge difference between these two drones. They both fly incredibly well. They hold their position, they're really stable, they're easy to fly, they're easy to achieve cinematic shots. The footage out of both of them looks great and you're only really gonna tell the difference if you truly know how to color grade and you've been filmmaking for a while. You're comfortable with making videos. Which leads us into why yes, this drone is worth upgrading to and ditching your Mavic Air 2. If you're someone like me, you shoot professionally, you get paid to do it and you want the best quality possible and you've been flying for a while and you're comfortable with a drone, you're comfortable with a camera, you know how to color grade, you know how to do all those things, then yes, I do think it is worth upgrading. It's only a few hundred bucks more for this S2 and I think the footage does. At the end of the day, all things considered that I just talked about, I think it does look better. That being said, I definitely do have some caveats with the Air 2, which I'm not gonna be getting into in this video because my main purpose for this video was to compare the footage side by side so that you can make your best judgment if you think it's worth investing in. I'll probably be doing a much more in-depth review and guide in the future once I get a little bit more time under my belt flying this drone. If you enjoyed today's video, if you learned something, I would appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button and consider subscribing so you can see the next one it would be highly and much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy flying, peace. Oh, and don't forget to download the free LUT that I used in this video. It's not perfect, it's not going to work for every situation, but I think it looks pretty darn nice. I'm actually really happy with it. And as my reward for you watching this video and spending time with me, I'm just gonna give it to you. Links down below, it's super easy. You click it and it'll give you instructions how to install it in both Final Cut and Premiere. So go ahead and grab that, don't forget.